So for this video, I'm gonna do my best to show you how to install these cheap universal saddlebags that I picked up off of eBay. I paid about $80 for them. I think you can find them anywhere between $80 and $90 shipped to your door. Now the first thing you wanna do is take one of the bolts that goes into the fender where these attach. Bring that and the hardware that came with it to your local hardware store and get everything about, I don't know, half inch to three quarters of an inch, even if you wanted to go to an inch longer. Also, make sure you bring the nut so that you know the right size of the bolt. Also, with the fender screw, you don't want to take both of them out at once because there's a bracket underneath there. I decided to take some 3M paint protector tape and put it on the fender. If I was to do it again, though, I think I'd put it on the bracket instead because I'm a little worried what that might do to my chrome over time. If you do use the 3M tape, you're going to need something sharp just to get through it. It's a little bit tough before you get the bolt through the fender. Next thing you want to do is put your brackets on the bike. Leave them a little bit loose so that way you can adjust them to how you want them to sit on the back of the bag. I ended up deciding to cut these brackets. The way that they were going to sit on the bag, there's a lip there. I didn't want it. One would sit down on the bottom, another one would be sitting right on the lip, and I just didn't feel like it was strong enough. Once I cut these brackets, now you're going to take that smaller piece, and you're going to have to either drill out or file out the holes because they're threaded. You're not going to do it to the bigger part that's actually going to go on the bag. You're going to do it to this smaller part here that goes on the inside of the bag for more support. See this piece here? You're also going to want to make sure you file down the edges, especially the ones on the inside of the bag, because you don't want them to catch on a shirt or anything like that that you might have inside. Make sure you paint them also for both the inside and out because you want to prevent rust. Now before you make your marks in the back of the bag to drill into, you're going to want to make sure that the bag is sitting flush against the brackets, that it's totally straight, level, and exactly where you want them to be. Then you want to take something sharp like this little screwdriver and scratch into the back of the bags through the holes where you're going to want to drill. And I can't stress enough how important it is to have this perfectly level and where you want the bag to sit. You want to make sure the lids open and close. You want to make sure that everything is good. You don't want to have these marks wrong because once you drill, you can't drill again. It's going to only ruin the integrity of the bag, and these aren't the best. Also, to get the bike more level, I put some wood under my kickstand, but if you're going to do that, just be careful because the bike can tip over on you. Now you're going to want to drill into the spots that you've made on the back of the bag that you scratched into through the bracket like I just showed you. And you're going to want to measure your drill bit by the inner diameter of those black rubber grommets. Those grommets may take a little finessing, but once you have them through, you're going to take this little metal sleeve and you're going to push them through each of the grommet holes. I took a little bit of dishwasher soap, lubed them up, and then pushed them through. It made it a lot easier for me. All right, so once you get your sleeves through your grommet holes, you're going to want to attach the bracket back onto the bag. Notice how my screws just went right through those parts of the bracket because I had already drilled those out. And now, like I was explaining earlier, you'll see how those are going to now screw into that bracket because it's threaded. So those are the threads you have to get rid of on the inside pieces there. Also, I just wanted to let you know that the extra washers and the longer bolts aren't necessary. The only extra hardware that is necessary is the longer bolts for the fender. The rest is just for support. So because I bought longer hardware, I was actually able to get the nut on also once I threaded the bolt through the bracket. So for a little extra security, I definitely recommend throwing some Loctite on these bolts. So after that, you're going to want to attach the bag back onto the bike. I forgot to mention earlier, when you go to the hardware store, you're going to want to pick up a metal washer and also a black rubber washer for this. And when you put it on, you're going to want to use the metal one and then the black one. So the metal is going to be first against the actual bracket, and then the rubber will be after that. You'll see here, going against the actual fender where the chrome and the tape is. I'm just trying to avoid scratching that up or ruining it. Tighten it all up, and that's really good. Um, the only other thing is this is not, you know, the highest quality bag. This is a $100 bag off eBay. This isn't a $1,000, $500, $700 bag. I'm definitely going to try to make some kind of support for the bottom. Uh, if I do, I'll put up another video. But honestly, for what it is, um, I'm definitely happy with it. 
Also, I forgot to mention, um, I slanted the brackets because it just seemed like it was better support, covered a better area. But you're going to want to do whatever's going to work best for your setup. You may not even end up setting your brackets up in the same orientation that I did. So do what's going to work for you. And real quick, this is the plate I was talking about earlier. That's why you don't want to take both of those screws out at once. But keep in mind, these are cheap saddlebags. They're not going to hold a ton of weight without support from the bottom. So if you are interested in them, go to eBay and type in Universal Saddlebags and you should be able to find them. I hope this video helped and thanks for watching.